Okay, increasing, decreasing, and constant functions. Right, again, now remember, always read left to right like you would do on a number line, from smallest to biggest. And that's how you're reading the domains of these, okay? Well, graphs aren't going up and down, they're going from left to right. So if you look at this first one over here, uh, let's get a pen up, okay, this one here, right, can you see it's going up, I have to do this back to front because of the camera, it's going uphill, it's increasing from left to right until it gets to a certain point, then it starts to decrease, okay? So, this is increasing, okay? Now, from negative infinity on the x-axis, okay? I've got a cat in the way. Um, it's not going down the y-axis, it's coming from the left-hand side of the x-axis, and it's going to, let's have a look, it's going to this point here, right here, okay? Which is at negative 1. So it increases until it gets to negative 1, not positive 5, that's a y-coordinate, okay? So it increases to negative 1, then it starts to decrease from that negative 1, and again goes on to infinity. Right, so let's have a look at this. I'll look at some of the, um, actually, we'll go on, I'll write it. It increases from negative infinity to negative 1. We can't include that, of course. It's not, um, I don't use a bracket there, I've got to use a parenthesis because that's also where it starts to decrease. So it's not neither one or the other, okay? And then this is decreasing from negative 1 to positive infinity, okay? So that's where it's increasing and decreasing. This one, again, from left to right, it's going downhill from the left-hand side, from negative infinity. So it comes from negative infinity, decreases to here, 2, okay? 2x equals 2, parentheses. And then it increases from 2 to infinity. Okay. Now this one here, this is just showing you a constant. Okay, this is constant. It's neither increasing nor decreasing from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now I'm going to let you kind of just hold on that there. Increasing, decreasing, constants. Now if I look at that, pause, read it. I'll show you it explains. Far easier to see it actually visually. Okay. Right. Okay. So what that previous box was saying is, can you see? For a smaller value of x, okay, if we start at a small value of x, therefore a resulting smaller value of y, you know, the f of a, let's say I start at a, that's the x value, so the resulting f of a, or the y value, is smaller than if I go to b, a bigger x value, resulting in a bigger y value, okay, so small input, small output, bigger input, bigger output. Can you see it's increasing? You can all see that's increasing. Now if you go over here where it's decreasing, so for a small value of x here that produces a bigger value of y, okay, and then a bigger value of x here producing a smaller value of y, okay, you can see that's why it's decreasing. Again, if I go back to that box, this is what all this is saying here, okay. And of course it's constant if there's no change. Okay, look at this. There's no change in y. Think of this as y. There's no change in y as x changes. So from a small x a to a bigger x b, there's no change in the output. Okay, that's a constant. Let's have a look at some examples. Okay, where is it increasing, decreasing, and constant? Right. Okay, looks like to that point there. Okay, so from here to here. It's decreasing. So from negative infinity to what's this? That's negative one on the x-axis. It's decreasing. What's right that? It decreases. Okay. But actually, look over here. Look at this. Now what's this? X is five. Also, five to infinity. It's decreasing. Can you see this kind of let me see this section here? Okay. Right, that's also decreasing. Now we should have there. There we go. It's right there. Okay. Just had to find it. There we go. Okay. Decreasing. Uh, looks like, well, here it's constant. So we can say from, you see, from, from this point negative 1 to this point 3, it's constant. Do we have that? Okay. Constant. There we go. Negative 1 to 3, it's constant. And also, where is it increasing? It only increases from 3 to 5 along the x-axis. You see it's going uphill from x equals 3 to x equals 5. And there we go. Just hard to spot. Okay, so there you go. This example of 
decreasing, constant, increasing. Okay, so just look from left to right along the x-axis.